May I ask you a follow-up question? Actually, I'm really glad you talk about how the issue of women's empowerment, women's rights, should not be confined to just women. And I'm reminded of what Prime Minister Narendra Modi said a few years ago in his Independence Day speech. Ladkiyon ko bohat samjha liya, ladkiyon ko bohat lecture de diya, kaha jati ho, kitne baje ghar aati ho. It is time you taught your boys how to behave with women and girls. It's time you asked them questions. See, Neha, I don't think that beating up men ensures gender justice. I'm of the opinion hmm. that when we talk about... But I'm saying this in the context of women's safety. No, no. I'm, the issue is that when there is domestic violence, there has to be somebody in the family who's a woman who knows that the lady is getting beaten up. So like I said, if you paint every and taint every man as though they are the people we need to deal with, you will not create the social balance that we need. For instance, and why do I say this? Today, try and pass a legislation for reproductive rights of women in Europe and in the United States of America. You will get a pushback from polity and from people other than polity who presumably fill the intellectual space. In India since 1960s, there has been a conversation about medical termination of pregnancy at 24 weeks. There have been those cases that the media has highlighted in the Supreme Court of India, where women have had to go to court saying, if I give birth to this baby, either the baby dies or I die. But there was no legislation. What Prime Minister Modi did was bring a legislation for medical termination of pregnancy at 24 weeks passed it in both houses of parliament and not a single Indian man spoke up against it. So the idea is we've had a female prime minister before, but it is Prime Minister Modi who created the first ever menstrual hygiene protocol for administration to follow. And that is why I say that when you talk about the issues of women, don't discount the men, they are not the enemy. Ma'am, 